we've come back to South Africa now from the Netherlands, kind of getting back into the motions of things for 2020. As you can see, it's nice 25 degrees. It's great to be here at this time of the year. Uh, we do one year in the Netherlands and one year here, so that's why we're back. Spent a lot of time overseas and a lot of time out the suitcase and all that stuff, and so there's no one to turn to if things go wrong, you know. I've got my fiance which is one person, but I don't have family and friends and all of that. So to come back to, to South Africa and just talk with people about something completely not related to what I'm doing is, is definitely the way of, of, of kind of switching off and just thinking about other things in life. The usual day in South Africa, uh, we kind of do three training sessions. We'll do a swim uh, in the middle of the day, usually, because it's so hot out. And uh, yeah, seeing family and friends, uh, the rest of the year I can't do that. So it's great to do that and go to the coffee shops I like and. Uh, yeah, now settling into a new house. So uh, yeah, a lot of things happening at, at the same time. I'm approaching this season a little bit differently to others. Just starting a bit slower, so make sure I'm strong and, and stable and not doing too much training in the first three weeks. I got injured the start of 2019, so I want to try and make sure I don't get injured in 2020. Doing a bit more gym than I usually do. It's quite a priority thing now. This year was maybe the first time I thought about maybe working with a sports psychologist. I think had the biggest setbacks in 2019 and it continued for like six or seven months. So, you know, it's a long time to, to be dealing with problems. I had a couple of things factoring in, stomach problems that were underlying that I didn't know about. So the mental side of things kind of went to, but as well, it was a big mess up. It kind of felt like it was going to happen and, you know, I was doing everything I could for it not to, but it ended up happening. You know, your mind is a massive role in what you do. And if your mind says stop, you know, the chance of you stopping is very high. Afterwards, I decided to come back to South Africa to spend time with family and friends and I kind of just had enough of, you know, the circuit and the, the rat race and stuff and everything. So, came back home, took it easy. I think, you know, that's part of life. You know, there's always parts that don't go the way you want it to. You've got to just look at it in the, in the greater scheme of life. And you know, there's obviously worse situations than you're in. You've got to look at the, the positivities and things that you have and uh, not the things that you don't have and the things that you want. And I've got a great team of people that help me every single day. I think it's really important, you know, that the group around you keeps you honest. I love simplicity. I don't like to overthink. I don't like to assess too much. When I'm doing really hard sessions, very little thought process is going on. I know that it's going to hurt. I know that it's going to hurt for X amount of time, and then it will be over. I always just, you know, think this is a small moment. That moment will pass. Ultimately, it's about the enduring performance. I try to stay as positive as I can. I, you know, I always find that that's really important. You know, things can be going badly, and if you stay really positive, you can still come out pretty well. I love being outdoors. I like being, you know, doing exercise, and so for me, it's like the perfect job. If you love what you're doing, you never work a day in your life. I think when you have some bad times, you know, the good times are all, all that much better when they happen. I'm super excited about the, the possibilities in Tokyo to be the best that I can be. You know, to go to speeds that I've never gone to, and to do the best that I've ever done.